Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. I'm taking a look at MX14 again. MX14.4 is the latest release and it has a couple of new features as well as a whole host of bugs fixes. Those of you that had trouble getting online with your Broadcon chipsets in 14.3 should find this one a bit easier if your chipset, particularly if your chipset is supported by the WL or the Broadcom STA DKMS driver. Um, there was a small bug in the 14.3 that um, those drivers weren't uh, installed all the way. Um, also, there's a small bug. There was a small bug on 14.3 where a network manager wouldn't run your wired Ethernet port automatically, even though you were working. A network manager reported that it wasn't. That is fixed now in 14.4. A couple of new features. The biggest one is being XFCE 4.12. Um, uh, check out my video on that to see the cool new features, particularly in terms of window snapping and um, you got corner snapping and we got side snapping here and top snapping for maximizing and also some neat features for alt tab that looks relatively simple but there is some nice new features um, for with preview screens There's also some new extras in the package installer, and there's now a new sound card selector. So let's check a few of those things out. First thing we're going to take a look at is the sound card selector. Now, MX does not use Pulse Audio. It uses the standard basic also sound system that all Linux distributions use. And but if your systems had more than one sound card, say for me instance I'm using a USB mic that shows up as a separate sound card, you'll 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 know that it can sometimes be difficult or at least arcane to select the default sound card for your system. This is more often a problem with like HDMI audio over televisions and things like that. Uh, so we have now a handy app for selecting your default sound card. Now I'm not going to change. You can see my current default is set to the snowball. I just did it that way to see if it would work. It works rather nice. Uh, my Currently my microphone is the only the only sound source set up to be running. So anyway, I'm not going to set the card, but it, it will work and it works on the fly. No need to reboot. Yes, re quit. Um, some other, some more additions in the MX package installer. Whoops. There it goes. The MX package installer. We have a few new items. Uh, Pulse Audio, uh, I believe, is now updated to version 5. And we've got the uh, Pandora Radio client. I'm not sure if that was in 14.3 or not, but the changes in the browser category are, are very nice. Google Chrome Stable is now an option so that you can get the latest stable browser from Chrome, uh, uh, from uh, Chrome from Google. And we also have uh, somewhere, if I remember where it is, under Network, we now have a Dropbox installer. And under screencast, simple screen recorder is still there. Now, if you're if you happen to be running version 14.3, these things will autom automatically update. You'll have them without you don't need to install from the new ISO. Those are the big uh, changes in um, in MX package installer. There's also a new online help manual. Uh, I say online, but is actually installed on the ISO itself. So you have it, and again, it'll come down in the updates. Fully annotated with graphics for the different uh, objects. It's a uh, it's a rather um, well, it's a rather large manual, and it, it's got a little bit of something for everybody in there. So check it out, including troubleshooting tips for various systems in your system in, in, on your computer. Uh, particularly, the sound section is good, and the networking section um, is also very useful. Uh, for those of you uh, in particular with Broadcom chipsets, which can be problematic. You can see we also have a new icon set. Looks pretty nice, a little more modern. Um, the new uh, We have a new theme for the uh, window manager set to albatross for the decorations around the window, around the windows. 
and the XFCE theme is set to well let's just do this real quick oops I picked the wrong one yeah window manager uh, Albatross the default XFCE uh, looks like this they changed their default which is what MX was using in the past and so it looks like this you feel free to use whatever you want Albatross is a is what they've gone with for the default on the 14.4 ISO again uh, also on appearance uh, the default theme is now Zukit Wo instead of Zukit Wo Dark. There was some apps that min text could be hard to read in menus, so they changed the theme. All the old themes are still available. You, again, you can use what you want. And with the new appearance setting tool with XFCE, you get that nice little preview of colors and preview of the icon sets. Again, the big feature for 14.4 is that all the bug fixes over the last several months have been rolled up into one ISO. The the uh, the new icon set, the new sound card selector application, and the new um, uh, options in MX Package Installer. There are also uh, again various bug fixes that have been taken care of that are under the hood, and the rather extensive new MX manual. This will probably be the last official release in the 14 series for MX. It's been a good year. Um, we're looking forward to the release of Annex 15 in the near future, uh, as soon as Jesse go, Debbie and Jesse go stable, and then moving on to uh, MX 15 after that. Um, if you want to help out bug testing that new Annex 15 release, head over to annex.freeforms.org and check out the links for the various beta releases that's currently in beta 1. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.